growing up, you know what I mean, immigrant household and stuff. It's crazy, because I didn't know I grew up broke until I moved to Vaughn. <laughs> Dropping my little cousin off to school and I see a bunch of kids on the playground, right? Like a bunch of Marias and Francescos and shit. <laughs> And they were eating like Lunchables and Dunkaroos. You guys remember Dunkaroos? Yeah. 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 yeah, I saw that. I saw that and I was like, yo, I never had that growing up. Yeah, yeah you know what I ate growing up? You guys don't eat, you guys eat raw noodle pies? <laughs> you crunch up the noodles, put the seeds in the egg, you shake up the bag. I didn't even know you could cook those till like last month. I was like, so my cousin's house guy was boiling water. He turned around, he saw me eating the raw noodles, right? There was a fucking raccoon trying to salvage food. Like, bro, you're not gonna cook those? I'm like, you gonna cook this? Like, this shit. <laughs> she says, instant noodles. I thought I meant instant out the bag. <laughs> yeah, if you guys take any pictures tonight, make sure you tag at the House of Arts and uh, at Greenport. Uh, once again, these guys, dope venue, dope job. Thank you guys again for, for, for providing this work. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up your next act shortly, but uh, I just wanted to get to you know you guys a little bit. Well, I know you guys. Thank you for coming with the family. Yeah. Okay. Anyone here? Uh, where's one place you guys want to travel after COVID? Oh. Feel cute, Mike Post. Later. It's at at the house dot of dot art. Thank you. Man. And we still got weight class, uh, five dollars, honey can, seven dollars. Um, where? Right are, are those the right prices? Yeah, but right prices, right prices, the right, yeah. the right, yeah. right, right, right prices. Right. Correct. I'm too high for this. Uh, <laughs> Just and where's that? Where's where's that one place you guys want to travel after COVID? Hawaii. Oh wow, Jesus! I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Like <laughs> Machu Picchu? Wait, why Japan? Yeah, Saki. 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 No, they got a they got a one six eight at Duffin and Steel's sushi. The way they have Saki there too. You don't gotta spend five thousand dollars for Saki. Then again, you gotta show a gas station tattoo, so I can't make it. <laughs> Uh, Machu Picchu, that's lit. Why you want to go there? Just check it out. Fuck yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. You seem very nervous. I'm not, I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to make fun of you. She's like, just, uh, yeah, just I just want to climb on a hill. <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I really wanted to go to Peru too, yo. Do ayahuasca and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's not even a joke. That's just facts. But I heard it's fucked. I heard like you get like you vomit and you have diarrhea. I'm not really selling this properly, but it's like. <laughs> Wants to give you like a spiritual enlightenment or some shit, you know? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what else helped me out a lot? Oh, CMOS. If you guys want CMOS, my, my Dominican boy Branson right at the back. And I'm up 20 bucks, elderberry and CMOS. Anti inflammatory and it gives you the stamina, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> for the white people, it's stamina. <laughs> It makes you last longer. <laughs> Ask my girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> but that's what I miss about. But that's what I miss about comedy. Yo. I used to love traveling. I used to travel a lot for comedy. I traveled to the states for my first show. It was Buffalo. But um, <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you. But uh, I was excited, right? That was my first time crossing the border. <laughs> my first time going to the States for a show. I was trying to catch it to look sick, but then I got nervous and I just held my titty. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I really wanted to travel, right? I went to Buffalo for a show and it was my first time going to the States for a show, so I was excited, but I was also nervous because like with my face, you can see where that fear comes from. You know what I mean? So I was at the border and the lady at the border was like, where are you going? I'm like, Buffalo. She's like, how long you stay in? I'm like, three hours. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, a comedy show. She's like, oh, you're going to watch a comedy show. I'm like, no, I'm a comedian. I'm on the show. And then she put the passport down, and she called over all the other officers. 
She was like, tell me a joke. I'm like, this, no. this is not the right fucking time, you know? I prepared for everything except this. I shaved my beard and I trimmed my eyebrows. Cause I'm like, there's no way she's seen a terrorist with his eyebrows on fleek. You know what I mean? Like, I was trying to look like a gay Al Qaeda member. I was gonna look. Like, <laughs> so, so roll up to the border. She's like, "Sir, are you bringing any firearms or explosives to the United States?" I was gonna be like, "No, I'm the bomb." <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh shit!" Are you guys ready for your next act? Yo, we got one more comedian, and we're gonna have a short, quick little intermission in between. Uh, your next act coming to the stage. He's pretty brand new to the scene, but he's a real good friend of mine, and he's been hustling. He's been trying to get his, uh, you know, craft together, and uh, you know, he's here for us tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a lot of love uh, for my boy Robert Orlando. Oh, one more time for Jesse. This is a hot crowd. One more time for Jesse, though. Oh. It's my birthday show, man. Isn't it tomorrow? Fuck you, you know? <laughs> fuck that. It's your birthday week? What are you, white? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, man. He didn't even shave his head today. He looks like a used toothbrush, you know? <laughs> you fucking got it. He's great, though. Honestly, he's one of my closest friends. One more time for Jesse. He's a real... <laughs> What's up, guys? You guys are fucking going nuts. If people are asking if you're on drugs, you're like, no, it's this. We're just high on white privilege. That's all. <laughs> the strongest drug of all. <laughs> you know? Oh my god, you guys are looking at me like, who the fuck is this? I look like a, a I look like a vegan Adam Sandler. You know? <laughs> just very yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a tough guy at all. Like people tell me, I come across as intimidating. I'm not tough. Like I like like I just all like have a long back, like no ass, like there's nothing, there's nothing going on, you know. Like I'm not tough. I got in a fight one time at school, and my dad didn't even teach me anything about like fighting. He just put on Rocky one day. He's like, figure it out. You know, it's the greatest comeback story of all time. You know, just chasing my bullies around like a chicken, and I just went back to school with a speech impediment. It was great. <laughs> Years, I, couldn't, I couldn't pronounce my own name. Yeah. It was fantastic. Oh my god. Oh! Yeah. Seriously? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, any of you guys, like, try and, like, quit anything throughout the pandemic? Get any, any good habits going? My friend tried to give up pot, right? And uh, he's so fucking weird. Like, okay, anytime, like, he's trying to, like, like quit something. Like, he tried to eat, eat really well one time. And, uh, and anytime we'd get McDonald's, he'd be like, can I smell that? I'm like, that's... <laughs> like, I just wanna, I'm not gonna eat it, but it'll just like, you know, it'll it, it make my mind stronger. I'm like, just eat the fucking, he's like <laughs> sniffing bags of ketchup chips. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. So he's like, I'm gonna quit pot. I'm like, probably not, but let's see, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm like, what are you gonna do? And uh, it's like, to replace the habit, you know, they say you should replace the habit. He's like, uh, I think I'm gonna get into gardening. I'm like, that's cool, man. You know, replace it with some healthy stuff, some cucumbers, <laughs> tomatoes. And I'm like, what are you gonna grow? He's like, pot, mostly pot. <laughs> mostly weed. <laughs> um, and uh, he was growing this thing for like six months. And finally, he tells me to come over. He's like, I think there's something wrong. And uh, I kind of look at it. I'm like, yeah, man, um, I don't think you're gonna get a lot of weed from this plant. He's like, why? I'm like, cause that's a fucking ficus. That's not, it's a house plant, it's not weed. And he's like, is that indica or sativa? I'm like, man, it's, it's a hybrid. Like, just don't, you know? He killed me though, cause like he grew up for six months and not once was he like, this, this doesn't even smell like weed. And like, whatever. <laughs> I love that joke because, okay, that joke, okay, because fucking, just fuck, uh, one time I was up really late and I'm like, did you guys know that there's like, there's national trees for countries and shit? Re okay, so there's I'm flowers. just new to this. There's, no, but there's trees too. I swear to God, look this up. It's nuts. And I wanted to know what the, the official tree of Bangkok was. And it's the ficus. It's the ficus. It's the bank. I just wanted to say Bangkok. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I got really bored during the pandemic. I started like just 
just being a menace around my house, living at home. So uh, I, love, I love fucking with my mom the most because she's like super sweet and like very Italian and like family oriented, love sharing meals with people, but she's also like, she, she hates anything profane. Like she, she can't even say weed, you know? She says fresh stuff. She calls it fresh stuff. <laughs> I don't mean. <laughs> so uh, her birthday is actually her birthday is actually the same day as, uh, as Jesse's, the fourteenth. Round of applause for Jesse and my mom. Uh, yeah. So for her for her birthday, I was gonna send uh, an Amazon package to her of a Rachel Ray cookbook, you know, because she loves to cook, and a big black dildo. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but like on the notes for Amazon, you can like, you could like, when you send it, you can write a little personal message. So I said, I hope you think of me every time you use this, your son. <laughs> on the book, on the inscribed in the book, the cookbook, okay. Yeah, uh, like I mentioned, I'm Italian. Uh, anyone here? Yeah, yeah, what for this fucking here? You guys got none this. But why you? But yeah, uh, I have a really weird relationship with my nunna, you know? It's kind of love hate. Because, like, uh, when we were kids, if we were ever bad, she would put us in the cantina, you know, the cold cellar. And, I, and when she ever put me in the cold cellar, I would just eat all the shit. Because it was Italian Costco, it was a free for all. You got your cookies from, like, Easter to Christmas. It's like, you know, and, uh, and one time she, uh, she called me over to help out her neighbor and, uh, cause he was having a problem. He's got a back, nice, really nice backyard. He's got like a koi pond and he comes up to me. He's like, Robert, some fucking raccoon that keeps eating my fish. And, and I don't know if you guys know, it's a koi pond and like, they're like 800 bucks of fish. Like, this is no joke. This guy's not fucking around with this fish, okay? And this raccoon is just fucking eating them out of his, <laughs> his backyard. I'm like, so okay, okay, what are we gonna do? He's like, okay, uh, grab that chicken wire, like this fence, and he puts it over the little koi pond. And I'm like, okay, what next? Uh, grab that car battery. <laughs> and attach one of them to here, <laughs> and one of them to one of his poles in the tomato garden, like, and just ground it. And um, <laughs> the next day he calls me over, and then we walk over, and I just see a raccoon <laughs> just frozen <laughs> to the fucking... <laughs> just frozen <laughs> to the chicken wire. And he hands me a bag <laughs> with prosciutto in it, and he says... <laughs> Say a fucking word. I'm like, no fucking way. This is the best prosciutto I've ever had. I'm not saying this a word. I will be an accessory to any murder for a good piece of salty meat. Are you kidding? Uh, how are you guys doing? Woodbridge. Good? Okay. Is Brandon in the house? No? E Town. E Town, what up? You know? Uh, it's all good. Um, but yeah, you guys, it's gonna be a really awesome show. You guys are fucking awesome. Uh, Natish, the headliner, he's the best. You guys are gonna love him. Uh, one more time for Jesse Singh, everyone. Give it up for Robert. Hey. This guy got kicked out of every fucking vegan room in Toronto for that last joke. <laughs> fucking raccoons and shit. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yo, uh, like I said, we are going to have a short intermission, uh, 15 minutes, right? So for the white people, 15 minutes, for the colored people, 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's, 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 uh, it's, it's 9.20, 9.20, make sure you guys are back at 9.20.